there drunk. Julian, Ricky smells like garbage. The bees chase him around. Hi. Look, look, let's just relax here, guys. And unemployed. It's not our problem. Survival of the fitness, boys. And they've just landed in Australia. That's right, the trailer park boys are down under, bringing their cult TV show to the stage. We made a spoiler for you, Doug. Zira, it's made out of hockey sticks and a piece of wood. And they may have been hung over and jet lagged, but we managed to catch up with Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles to see what their legion of fans could expect on their Aussie tour. Guys, welcome to Australia. It's um, you've had a long flight, yeah? It long. Was, yeah, it was a long one. Yeah. That was insane. It's a good thing we don't. I wrote a joke. I wrote a joke for it. Actually, just came in from Canada. All oh, fuck, my arms are tired. <laughs> it's cool, bro. Get it? You know, as if I flew in, right? With my arms flapping. Is this is this as far away as you've ever been from your trailer park? That's a good question. I'm not good at distance kind of man. No, it is, Ricky. 100. percent It's the farthest away. We're on the other side of the planet, Rick, and Dow. Right. It's far. Right now, I'm just glad I'm here. I want to check out some bars, check out the different liquors they have down here. And I'm pretty happy. And uh, are you going to check out local trailer parks here to see what, uh, what differences there might be? No, we're going to check out the local strip clubs, though, because I heard they take everything off. Down on the stage, we've been there, and they don't take the bottoms off. They take, like, just the tops. So here they take everything off. I'm pretty happy about that. Me too. I can't wait to see some downstairs business. You guys talking about girls or guys? Ricky. Ladies. Okay. You guys become pretty big stars. First the show, then a couple of movies, and now the, uh, the tour. Can you tell me how the tour came about? Well, mostly Julian trying to make up for all the money he lost because he signed his contracts where we didn't get paid any money for the movies and the TV shows. So he's trying to make that up because he's dumb. I'm not dumb. I mean, you know, there was a demand to come out and do some live shows, so I set some things up. I'm not sure if we're going to be getting paid anything by the time we get home because there's a lot of, uh, you know, expenses like flying there and liquor expenses. Whoa, what do you mean? We're not going to get paid anything again? We, we might get come up with something. I don't know. We're not going to know until we're done. Who told me I'd be rich? You're not get, well, no, you're going to be, you know, you're going to get to see Australia. How rich was the word you used? Do you know how many people try to, like, you know, save up money to fly this far? It's like a vacation, but we're working. Right, we're used to seeing the, the documentary crew following you around, seeing your day-to-day -day life. So being on stage is a bit different. What, what, do, what do fans see when they, when they come to see your show? Well, Julian does this thing where he gets his shirt off and he gets oiled out and he does a big weightlifting routine. No, no, not, that doesn't happen. No, what are you no. talking about? Oh, that's, I thought that's what you were doing. A bit of dirty dancing. There's no dirty dancing going on. We get up and, you know, I, I don't know what we're doing exactly on stage. We're just going to get up and, and uh, meet some people, I guess, and get drunk. And you guys have spent some time in jail in, in, over, the, over the years. Um, are you aware, of course, that Australia was at one point, the entire country was a jail. Do you feel really at home here? I've heard that. It sounds pretty cool. I'd love to meet some of the different people that have been in jail, see what the jail is. This are whole like. nation was a jail at one point, Ricky, so. That's cool. You're kind of in jail right now. It's a pretty good jail. Better than the jails in Canada, yeah? Yes. Well, it is a beautiful jail. In Canada's jail. pretty good, too. Yeah, but this is, look, this beautiful jail here. Yeah, this is nice. What are the other guys up to at the moment? Um, the three of you are on tour. What are the other guys doing? Lee and Randy, they're still drunk as ever. Actually, Randy, he's, he's not drunk as much as he used to. He's, he's on the dope big yeah, he's time. He's smoking a lot more dope. But, I mean, Lee, he's off the rails. He's really drunk. He's not doing rails now, is he? No, no, he's off the rails. He's, like, wasted all oh, the time. Oh, I thought you meant he was doing rails. Fuck, that's all I need. That would explain a lot. No, he's not doing rails. You mentioned Randy. Why is that dude always shirtless? What's going on there? Well, he claims to have a fucking... He claims to have an allergic reaction to all fabrics, but I don't know that. No. I think he's full of shit myself. I think it's the fat. The fat that acts like this crazy insulation. He's just always so warm that he can't. He's just shit. sweaty. Yeah. He claims he's, he's allergic to all types of fabric, but that doesn't seem even possible when to me. Start, he starts sweating, he really starts stinking. He smells like a dead porcupine when he starts sweating. Yeah, I think he was, his family's like, they're seals or walruses or. There's a bit of seal in his family, I think. It's like a, bl oh, a blood not, layer. He's not part seal, boys. He's got like a seal pelt, but he's got the hairiest ass, knowing a man. He saw his ass? Yeah. You saw his hairy ass, did you? 
Wish I had a picture of it, man. You guys would not believe how hairy his ass is. You wish you had a picture of Randy's hairy well, ass, do you? Just doing because it? of, you know, know, it's like a, not doing. <laughs> it's like the wolf guy, the wolf boy, that guy, except he's... Do you have a crush on him, too? I don't have a crush on him. Would you fuck off? <laughs> yeah, you're obviously touring and you you should be making lots of money out of it. What are, what are your plans for um, for that money, assuming it comes through? Yeah, Julian. Yeah, Julian. Should have been making money, according to everybody in the world. Instead of free cigarettes and free breakfast. It's like a work of vacation, all right? We get to see Australia. That, sh that should be good. If I was going on vacation, I wouldn't have flown <laughs> fucking 60 hours. Dickweed, I would have taken a vacation down the fucking street. At the lake. Yeah, well, we might make some money, and if we do make some money, then, you know, maybe we will take a real vacation. Go to Cape Breton or something. It's only four hours away. Yeah, that makes sense. Fly 60 fucking hours to make money to go away four hours. Fucking dickweed. It doesn't make really that much sense. As you said, you've come all this way, but from what I heard before, all you're planning on doing is going to the bars, is it? Or is there anything else you want to see when you're in Australia? Yeah, I'd like to see some of the, meet some of the farmers and different people that farm. People? Ricky? Soil, hydro. What kind of farmers? Just different types of farming, like hydro kind of thing or you know Ricky slower. they know you're talking about weed you don't gotta hide it you're talking about dope growers well one thing I didn't know down here which is cool is that like from home when it's summer down here it's winter so you could technically whatever the word is grow a crop at home and fly down here grow a crop for that part of the, the summer and then so you know it'd be good get a home here and then a home there and different yeah. summers different dope worlds. 365 days a year Ricky that's quite a fucking goal you have there. And when you're done here in, uh, in Australia, where, where to next? Are you heading back home? Antarctica, according to Bubbles. I don't know if that's true or not. What? Oh, I'd like to go there, just to make a little stop we're not, off. We're not going to Antarctica. I'd like to go down and see some penguins. We're already that's fucking almost there. We might as well just do the next little jump. I got my winter coat and my gloves. Guys, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. The Trailer Park Boys' Drunk High and Unemployed Tour kicks off in Melbourne before moving on to Sydney, Adelaide and Brisbane.